The thing about the law is you have to know it to break it, and we definitely break it, so let's see how well we know it. Welcome back to Hive Mind Unlimited. Today we're playing a simple game of is the law real or fake? Mm -hmm. We're gonna read a law and try to decide if it's either a real law somewhere or Grant came up with it. <laughs> okay. One point for each one we get right, me versus Graydon versus you. Franny in Austin, Texas. Ooh, keep Austin weird. Ugh, jeez. We'll show you weird. <laughs> Patreon, cameo, merch, all that stuff's in the description as usual. Let's get right into the game. Come on, let's lawyer up, Riley. In Mississippi, it is illegal to explain to someone what polygamy is. Ooh, if it's illegal anywhere, it's probably Mississippi. You're like in a coffee shop and you're next to the person, you're like, no, no, no. It's like when you can have multiple partners and it's like you all kind of share each other's love and there's a cop who's like, <laughs> <laughs> Say one more. Yeah, it's called polygamy. He's like, get on the ground! This one's kind of confusing because what if you live in Mississippi and you have multiple cousins? Ah. <laughs> Going at the South for being incestual. People go at the Midwest for saying, oh. And that's even to you? Yeah, that's that's comparable. It's involuntary at this point. Oh. Oh. Something hit me in the face. <laughs> oh, let me sneak by you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Sneak by you. That is such a good one. Oh, let me just sneak by you. <laughs> sneaking behind you real quick. In the grocery store. Perfect stranger. Yeah. Old woman next to the apples. Oh, sneaking behind you here. <laughs> and she's like, oh. <laughs> She steps forward and says, oh, it's crazy. Three, two, one. Fake. I put real. This law is real. Yes. Come on, freedom of speech. Nope. Really? You can't explain what polygamy is in Mississippi? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. How long has this law been intact? I don't have the date on it. Okay. I do have the fines. Oh yeah, give us the fines. <laughs> you can get charged anywhere between $25 to $500, which I believe is the amount of words you use in the sentence before the cop tackles you. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes <laughs> yeah. sense. That's that's totally how they do laws. $25, okay, that's fine. If I said to somebody, hey, I'd like to explain to you what polygamy is, and they said, that's gonna be $25, I'd be like, all right, yeah, all right, sure. Sure, sure. Yeah, I, re I really wanna talk about it. <laughs> you take Apple Pay. <laughs> One more thing, um, as of 2020, polygamy is only legal in the state of Utah, but Mississippi is the only state you can't explain to someone what it is. Wow, one state where you can do it, one state where you can't even talk about it. So interesting. <laughs> Imagine somebody moving from Mississippi to Utah, and they get there and they're like, what is, I don't, I I don't even have a word for this. What am I looking at right now? A guy with three girls? What? <laughs> Next law. In Sri Lanka, it is illegal to tell a lie in front of a monkey. How do you discern what a lie is? <laughs> Walks up to a monkey and he's like, you're a good looking dog. <laughs> Get over here! You gotta hope that if you're in Sri Lanka on a date with a girl at the zoo and she's like, where do you see this going? You gotta be like, can we walk over to the tiger exhibit to talk about this? The monkey's looking at you like, oh. <laughs> A cop is standing right next to a monkey like with the, the baton. Three, two, one. Fake. Real. This law is fake. Oh, thank God. There's no way they could be like, now that was a lie. We're gonna make sure that was a lie. They could do it, In man. front of a monkey? <laughs> <laughs> the monkey testifies. Now, were you present for this lie? <laughs> yeah, it was a white lie. I get it, it's not that big of a deal, but I was there and yeah. I really don't like when people don't tell the truth. <laughs> Instead of the lie detector, you're <laughs> you're getting interrogated and a monkey walks in. You're like, no, get him out of here. <laughs> Next law we got. In Denmark, it is illegal to buy, sell, or consume Consume rhubarb. Oh, I love rhubarb. I hope that's not the case. <laughs> rhubarb pie? Yeah, you could use it in other dishes, I guess, but the pie is exquisite. Yeah. yeah and yeah, it's yeah. a sour root. I've only had it one time, rhubarb mm -hmm. pie, and it was in Toledo at Smucker's. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah Smucker's, Smucker's good food. Mm -hmm. Now, is this a tough root to find? Because maybe that's the, the deal is like... Very easy to grow. It grew wild in my childhood home, just really? like out in the yard. Really? Yeah, you'll see it on like the hillside in a forest or something. It kind of grows in shaded areas, big elephant ear leaves and you pluck it and then it's the stem like lower to the ground. That is the part you eat. Wow. Yeah. You know that Zendaya from Euphoria is a huge Nicki Minaj fan? Or rhubarb. We'll be right back after this. Three, two, one. Real. I put real again. This law is fake. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> you thought of that. Good for you, man. That is crazy. Yeah. That seems way too specific <laughs> and real. Of well, course it's fake. Next law. In Singapore, it is illegal to chew bubble gum. No bubble gum chewing? Mm-mm. Only mints. Icebreakers, fine. Do not chew. It's gross. Where do you draw the line, though? Like, what if you have, like, beef jerky or a gummy, something that mm. takes a while, almost maybe the 
the length it takes to chew gum. Is it about the time? Is it about the chomp? The lip smacking? The bubble blowing? Airheads, where are they? Taffy. You, you can't, yeah, see, I don't know. This is a whole, this is a, a can of worms as you call it in the courtroom. Can of worms, your opening statement. Three, two, one. Real. Fake. It is real. This is the one that I knew going into this game that would show up because my friend studied abroad in Singapore and was telling me that you can't chew gum in public and if they catch you doing it, they cane you. Ah. I think they got rid of that recently where they can no longer cane you, but the police used to strike people with canes if they were chewing gum. That's crazy. My guy caned me at the club the other night, got me on the dance floor. Oh, you know uh, I, mean? I know exactly what you're talking about. Caned yep. me in the bathroom. Yep. Wasn't expecting it, didn't plan on it. Come in the stall with me. Let yeah, me cane come. You. <laughs> Anything else about it? It says here that after vandals use chewing gum to mess with the mass rapid transit system, the board spent $150,000 a year to clean the gum litter. It was banned in 1992. Wow, so it became a problem like laying it on the tracks or yeah. all over buses or something. It's cool to see people coming together, you know, chewing for a cause. Yeah. I like that. I like those big mass robberies too, like the Facebook robberies, you know, they're like Dillard's at 3.30 and like 100 <laughs> people run in there and take whatever they want. I haven't seen those. Oh, really? That's fantastic. Wow. Yeah, been like the last six months, there's been these huge coordination robbery efforts where it's like a Facebook group and it's like hundreds of people. Yeah. And they give a little code for the time and the place and they all run in and like some people get caught, sure, but you can't stop. 400 people just like cleaning the shelves. All right, next one. In Alaska, it is illegal to look at slash view moose from an airplane. Can you look at pics on your phone? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that I got a whole folder with hooves. Yeah, I know how you are about hooves. Gotta show hoof. I like to see the hoof, the butt crack, and the antlers yeah. all in the same shot. That to me is special. <laughs> Three, two, one. Fake. Real. This is real. Yes. What? Come on, you can't, what do you mean you can't look at it? Here's, you're on a plane. Here's my theory. In Alaska, the tourist poll is to view wilderness. Okay. To view wild animals. Yeah. And I think this is maybe to prevent like an airplane guided tour, one that would maybe fly too low, too close to the moose habitat. And they're like, oh, we know where the moose is at. And all these planes all day would go over the herds of moose, and look at them, stare at them, object them, scream at them. Or maybe it's like scouting for hunting. Yeah. Uh, that's, I can't. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, it's like so that people don't go out on planes trying to find out where the moose is, that they can land, go, shoot it, and yes. then take it. Literally exactly what it is. That okay. makes sense. Maybe the first law of all time that makes sense. All right, next we got, in Florida, it is illegal to fall asleep under a hair dryer at a hair salon. I didn't know there were laws down there. I'm sure it says no bath salts, but. <laughs> you can get them wherever you want. Yeah, <laughs> it just seems odd to, if it is real, to like find somebody for falling asleep. I guess, I mean, you can't like fall asleep in your car on the highway. If you're driving. <laughs> right. Passenger seat, go ahead. Yeah, snooze go off, that. princess. Yeah, <laughs> take, a little, take a little nap. Yeah. You're on a hot girl ride. Beauty sleep. It's a hot yeah. girl ride. Yeah. Exactly. Becoming the passenger in someone's car has become so hot. It's such a trend to be like the hot passenger. Yeah, totally. It's awesome. You got your bag of chip. Uh -huh. You got your shoes off and kind of on the dash and your yep. knees are up. Uh -huh. Your window's down. You're doing one of these. <laughs> you're DJing. Yep. You have big Slurpee, <laughs> sucking it through straw, eating chip, <laughs> and Snapchat. Yeah. I mean, that's so hot. No, it is. It's super hot. There's nothing I want more than to find a passenger for my car in this ride I call life. Wow. <laughs> Poetic, my friend. Life is a highway. I'm gonna ride it all night long. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give yeah. That car looks like Claro, yeah. Three, two, one. Fake. Fake. This is real. Oh my God, why are they all real? How is this one real? What is the fine for falling asleep under a hair dryer? The fine wasn't specific, but they did say that the hair salon owner and the person falling asleep can be fined. The reason is because it's the heat's dangerous. Yeah. Oh. If you sleep under it for like three, hours, you could like melt your brain. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so it's to protect people. I mean, it makes sense that the owner of the salon would get fined. Like you're like, all right, Barbara, I'm going to put you under the hairdryer and I'm going to go do a few cuts and you're like, you forget about her. Yeah. She does is off. You take the thing off and like the top of her head comes with it. Like, <laughs> wax, a waxy or maybe even like a really well done mozzarella stick. <laughs> totally. Totally. Yeah. yeah. The lady gets turned into Mojo Jojo. Oh my God, her brain's exposed. <laughs> you still want that buzz cut? Another reason not to go to Florida. Next one, in Louisiana, it is illegal to eat crawfish before praying. That actually makes a lot of sense. How religious are they in Louisiana? I know they're very religious. Yeah. Well, before we dig in here, we might as well end that right down there. Fire on Holy Spirit, amen. 
Now let's eat this little crab here. Rename them the Jazz. The New Orleans Jazz? That's what they should be. But it's the Utah Jazz. That's why they're the Utah Jazz. They moved from New Orleans to Utah. Sure, so what should the what do Utah be then? Mountaineers. I don't, it's something that makes sense. No one's playing jazz in Utah. Name one jazz musician from Utah. I'll wait. Okay, don't need to wait any longer. There are none. Okay, sorry. <laughs> so we renamed the Pelicans the Jazz. We renamed the Jazz the Thunder. We renamed OKC the Mariners. I know. Well, that's weird, okay. but I just hear me out here. Yeah, I'm okay, listening. okay, see Mariners. Yeah. Then we rename the Mariners the Guardians. Like it? Rename the Guardians the Pistons. Love it. Rename the Pistons the Celtics. No, I'm yes. not. Okay. Detroit yeah, Celtics. Yeah. Sorry, got but it. that's what it is. I'm cool. making the calls here. I got it. Rename the Celtics the Yankees, the Yankees right. the Mets, the Mets the Red Sox, okay. the Red Sox the White Sox, the right. White Sox the Cubs. Okay, got it. The Cubs the Grizzlies. That's actually fire. Uh huh. The Grizzlies the Expos, and then we're done. Oh, okay. Three, two, one. Fake. Fake. This is fake. Thank God. You can't tell people. Separate separation of church and state. What are we doing here? One state over, though. You can't explain polygamy. Shout out crawfish. I like little lobsters from the creek that you suck their brains out. Next one. In Australia, it is illegal to wear heelys in public. Nah, I don't know. Australia is kind of like a Florida to me. Yeah, the rules, uh, they're kind of all <laughs> yeah. over the place. Yeah. The cops are drunk. And for those younger viewers out there that aren't aware, heelys are kind of etnies with little wheels in the Heel. Three, two, one. Real. Real. This is fake. Oh my gosh. It's gotta be illegal to wear Heelys somewhere. Oh yeah. Here we go. Next we've got, in Hawaii, it is illegal to place coins in your ears. In them? Could you have gauges and then like maybe a quarter on either side? Oh, that is- Is that illegal? Yeah, I don't know. People who got gauges have to be right now really facing that thing of being like, man, these things haven't been popular in like 15 years. (laughs) I am stuck with these stretchy ass ears. You know what I mean? Like, I get it. When it was happening, I even wanted them for a yeah. quick moment. I was like, okay, those look kind of cool, the little ones. Yeah, my sister had them in high school, and I was like, damn, that's... If only those people could gauge the trend cycles, they'd realize that it wasn't probably a good investment. Three, two, one. Fake. Real. This is real. Oh, my gosh. You can't put coins in your ears in Hawaii. <laughs> I want that on a shirt. The reason for this is in 1900s, when Hawaii became part of the United States, there was an order to destroy all Hawaiian coins. People would hide them in their ears. Now it's a sign of being a drug dealer. Interesting. So like even the old kind of colonialist racist law of the past, it's maintained and I feel like it's still being used to like judge people. They're like, oh, he's a drug dealer. He's got a coin in his ear and it still feels problematic. That is that is messed up. Hawaii and the US's history is very sad and unfortunate. Yep. Shout out my indigenous folks though. Absolutely. Yeah. Shout out the indigenous Hawaiian folks. If any of you guys watch us, Shout out to you. Coin up. And if you don't watch <laughs> yeah. Also, shout out to you. You don't have to watch yeah. us. <laughs> I'm not saying. For sure. I'm not like being indig- an indigenous Hawaiian person. I'm rocking with that no matter what you think of our channel. Mm-hmm. Or if you've never heard of it. Definitely not digging a hole here. You're really clearing it up. It I looks just good. wanted to clear that Got up. It. I don't only rock with the indigenous folks of Hawaii who watch Hive Mind. Okay. It's not contingent on the fact that they are subscribed to the channel. Clear as day. Happy you said it. In the UK, it is illegal to handle salmon suspicious. <laughs> you're kind of walking around, you're like. <laughs> he's like holding the salmon and he's like, whoop, just kidding. And then you're like, something's up with this guy. It is illegal to handle salmon suspiciously. Dude. That's a sus salmon handler over there. <laughs> Somebody check on that salmon handler. There's something suspicious about him. Three, two, one. Fake. Fake. This is real. Bullshit. Handle salmon suspiciously? How do they tell? <laughs> what is suspicious about handling salmon? <laughs> Like, what could you do? Do you have the origins here? Yeah, this is the Salmon Act of 1986. 86? It's not even old. (laughs) We had Ferraris and cocaine, but you couldn't handle a salmon suspiciously? (laughs) Tell me more. Ireland's fighting for their freedom, and we're passing laws like this. (laughs) This section creates an offense in England and Wales or Scotland for any person who receives or disposes of any salmon in circumstances where they believe that the salmon has been illegally fished. So it's possible to illegally fish salmon. So sometimes you like there's places you can't catch them, whatever. But then it's also illegal to do anything that may hint at the fact that you th- did catch it illegally. Yeah, most likely the illegal ways of fishing salmon are like leaving a net up overnight in the middle of their like spawning stream. Totally. You're grabbing, you know, thousands of them and they're just trying to spawn. You don't have a license for that kind of stuff. You're not a, a charter or something. Totally. You grab them, you hustle them on the street, half cost, undercut in the local fish markets. And then you see these people
people who have no business walking around with a big salmon wrapped up in newspaper and they're kind of concealing it. Yeah. Like, well, you want to hit? And the guy's like, yeah. <laughs> So I guess it's the possession of illegally caught salmon is in itself suspicious in the eyes of the UK law. Sussy salmon. Next, it's going to be illegal to mouth fuck a trout. I mean, this is ridiculous. <laughs> you don't think they'd actually make that illegal, right? No way. I mean, come on. What kind of world would we live in if you couldn't stick your penis inside the mouth of a trout? Okay, cool. Because, yeah, I don't want to live in that world. Neither do I. Next. In Poland, it is illegal to wear a Winnie the Pooh t-shirt. <laughs> now, does this mean a t-shirt with Winnie the Pooh on it, or does this mean you're only wearing a red t-shirt and nothing else? And <laughs> you got a beer gut. <laughs> That's my call. Winter fashion trends to keep an eye out for? Winnie the Pooh's look. And Winnie the Pooh in general, because it just became public domain. Yeah. That's why they're making that that crazy horror movie. horror movie with Winnie the Pooh is because mm -hmm. Disney no longer has the exclusive rights to yeah. Winnie the Pooh as a character. Correct. So people are going to be making spin-offs, they're going to do a collab with like H3, you know. Supreme. <laughs> yeah, tons of Winnie the Pooh shit's about to start coming out. And I hear that a lot is going to come out about the cast too behind the scenes. Yeah, I heard it was like more of a drug-fueled kind of frenzy filming, but like everything was like that back then. So. I mean, Eeyore had a huge problem with Klonopin, Yeah. and then obviously Piglet had a huge cocaine issue. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, let's talk about the the main character. And no, I'm not talking about Winnie the Pooh. I'm talking about Christopher Robin. Yeah. Huge psychedelics problem. That is how he, the, the characters were even created. That's true. So it was a whole thing. It was drug fueled. There was a lot of hooking up. But listen, it'll all come out in time. I've only heard rumors. So. Yeah. Three, two, one. Fake. Fake. This is real. I'm just, I guessed fake for like the last 10. I like, know. What is going on? <laughs> this is real. You can't wear a Winnie the Pooh t-shirt in Poland. Yes. Winnie the Pooh does not wear pants. Poland found it to be a little too risque for the likes of impressionable children. Really? Yes. The bear without pants is too problematic, but you can go out into nature and yet none of the animals are clothed. <laughs> Aren't there plenty of big cartoon characters who don't wear clothes at all? Well, that's what I'm saying is like, okay, if there's no t-shirt on Pooh and he's just a bear, I doubt anybody's like, oh, Jesus Christ, this bear is fucking naked. Yeah. I'm not showing my kids. But you give him half clothes. And they're like, and what are you like? Shouldn't he have pants too? Holy oh, shit, is his little bear cock swinging around? My kids are going to see this. Like, whatever though, shout out Poland. I take back the bad shit I said. I'm rocking with y'all, my Polish fans. What up, doll? I'll be there next month. I'm doing a college tour. See y'all there. Woo, Poland. Isn't Trevor Wallace opening that tour too? Yeah. Yeah, it's Trevor Wallace and then you're, you're headlining. Yeah, yeah. Congratulations on headlining, by the way. You've been opening for so long. It's like really cool to see you. Finally, like, you know, that's the name on the, on the poster, you know. Even if it is Poland, small market, but I mean, just... You know, great country though. Great in Weaver, yep. Trevor Wallace. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You're welcome. <laughs> All right, last one. It's four to three. I could tie it up. You could. In Norway, it is illegal to leave the bathroom without washing your hands. Very progressive, those Nordic countries. Employees, they gotta wash their hands. I see that sign constantly. But I think there's gonna be something here with cameras. It's illegal to put cameras in bathrooms. We don't know the rules in Norway. They get taxed at like 75%. You can do whatever you want if you're the government over there. I don't know, you blackmail everybody? That seems like crazy. I feel like they sign up for that kind of shit over there. Yeah. Because they're happy or whatever and they get free health care and free college and the streets are clean and there's no crime. It's like, is it really worth it at that point? If they're so happy, why do they all make black metal? Yeah, <laughs> you know what point. I mean? I think it's the winners. Despite all the government subsidies and programs that really increase the happiness, it's like, ah, for the next 11 months, it's gonna be winter. And yeah, they kind of sound like Canadians. It's weird. <laughs> hey, buddy. Oh, you hear it's gonna snow every day for the next 10 months, yeah. <laughs> for eight of those, the sun won't even set. And you're like, Jesus Christ, I'm gonna go insane here. You wanna come over? I'm gonna play you some of my new music. Here it is. <laughs> Three, two, one. Fake. Fake. This is fake. Let's go. Yes. Finally, I was just embarrassed at that point. I yeah. kept getting them wrong. There we go. Graydon wins the laws game. Should I take the bar now? Eh, you're going to that hair salon in Florida later. I would just wait to take it until after. All just right, cool. in case. You yeah. Know. Well, that was a game of is the law real or fake? <laughs> if you want us to play it again, please let us know and send some funny laws, real or fake, over to DJ Grant. DJ Grant stuff is in the description. Shout out to him for creating all of these fake laws and finding all these real weird ones. <laughs> Other than that, make sure you like the video, subscribe, all this stuff. We got videos on our main channel. We got merch available, all of that stuff. But Graydon, please leave these wonderful people with some advice to leave or live their lives by. If you make it to the top of the mountain of life, the air might not be thin, but your thighs won't. This has been I Mind Unlimited. Please, we'll see you in the next one. You get rich, you get fat? I don't know. <laughs>
quit incorporating Destroy Lonely's lyrics into your daily vocabulary. It's dangerous game you're playing. Well, I mean, you know, it's just in simple situations. Like my mom's like, I'm walking into the store, honey. I love you. And I'm like, she in school, but it's cool. I still might bag this bitch. And then no I, stylist. And then my mom's like, what's happening to you, honey? Ever since you got those Amiri jeans, you've changed. She just doesn't get opium, you know? My mom just doesn't understand opium. Lone, Ken, yeah. Cardi. It's like we have nothing to talk about. That's yeah. what I will say. It's like as I get older, it's tough to find stuff to have in common with my parents. Because they don't know opium. Yeah, they don't. my mom doesn't know opium. Yeah. Rick Owens. She has no idea who Rick Owens even is. That's embarrassing. Yeah. It's honestly cringe. I still don't understand how that is not covered under the First Amendment. Yeah, that's you crazy. You should be able to explain anything anywhere in the U.S. <laughs> well, just except for how to shoot the president. <laughs> That's a, I'm just saying there are, there, I mean, it's not like you can say anything. All right. Why do we need a, like, why does the Roly need a dab? Like, what's the dab of ranch with the Roly? Maybe like diamonds or something. Ranch is diamonds. Is it? I mean, no. it's white. Yeah. That I guess make... that's like the only Roly with a dab of ranch. Ooh.